became interested in, in consciousness because patients with a cardiac arrest, when they survive the cardiac arrest, sometimes have extraordinary conscious experience that they shared with me. And it started for me in '86 by reading a book about near death experience. And then I just, because I read this book, I started to ask patients who had survived a cardiac arrest in the past if they could remember something of the period of unconsciousness. And I took a big surprise in two years out of 50 patients. 12 patients told me about their near-death experience. That's the moment my scientific curiosity started to grow because according to our current medical knowledge, it's not possible to experience consciousness, let alone enhance consciousness during a period of cardiac arrest, which is called clinical death, where there is no heart rhythm, no blood pressure, you are unconscious, the brain doesn't function at all. So this question, how could we explain this kind of conscious experience? And that is the reason we started a study, an 88 prospective study in 344 patients who survived cardiac arrest. And also as a long, longitudinal study with interviews after two and eight years to, to study the causal content of the near-death experience. And this study was published in Lancet in December 2001. What we found in our study that all the, until that time, mentioned possible explanations for an ND, let's say lack of oxygen to the brain, or some neurotransmitters in the brain, or fear of death, or use of drugs, or hallucinations, etc. These theories did not come out in our study. <laughs>